Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to SSH into an EC2 instance on Windows using the popular SSH tool called PuTTY. So here I am in the AWS console in the EC2 section. I'm going to go ahead and create a free tier instance using the wizard. Uh, clicked on launch instance, going to use an Amazon Linux 2 AMI, clicking on select in the top right. We're going to use a T2 micro, which is free tier eligible. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and click on review and launch. Uh, so now we just get a summary of everything that we're going to create. Going to go ahead and click on launch in the bottom right. Now here's an important step. We need to create a key pair. Uh, so this is basically a permission file so that we can SSH into the EC2 machine for later. So I'm going to click on create a new key pair. Going to name it whatever I want, EC2 key pair. And now you're going to click on download key pair. Going to download that to your downloads directory. It's just a PEM file. Uh, click on save file. And now you're going to click on launch instances. So sometimes this takes a little bit to uh, start up and you can see here that it's currently in pending state. This is the one that we just launched and these other two are just uh, things I was testing things out on. If you're clicking on refresh, you can kind of update the status. You see it's running now, but it's initializing. So while it's getting all that set up, let's go and download PuTTY and get everything set up there. Um, so I'm on the putty.org website. You can click on, you can download PuTTY here. And my default advice here is just to download the Windows installer and not get the executables uh, because you're going to need a tool that comes in the bundle with the Windows installer um, called Putty Gen that we're going to need for this exercise as well. So assuming you downloaded this and installed everything, uh, you should have two programs now on your computer. The first one is called Putty. Uh, so if you press the Windows button and you type in Putty, you should see Putty. And the other one is called Putty Gen. Putty Gen. There it is. Uh, so you should have both of those installed. Go ahead and open up both of them. Uh, so I have them here on my machine. And so the first thing we need to do is convert our PEM file into a PPK file, which is a format variation that you need in order to use um, SSH with PuTTY on EC2 machines. Uh, so we're gonna click on the load button over here, clicking on load and just go to your uh, file that you just downloaded and uh, make sure that you click in the bottom right here uh, click on all files because by default they won't recognize that file that you just created so now if i click on this file and go to open uh, we can see that we successfully imported it that's great click on ok now we want to click on this bottom right guy here save private key and it's just prompting me that i'm doing this without a passphrase i suggest you do that but for this example i'll just leave it at default clicking on yes now now we have to save this um, file which is the converted ppk file uh, so EC2 key pair PPK, click on save. And now we need to actually SSH into the machine. So let's just go and get the IP of this machine. Clicking on refresh now, looks like it, it's up and running, so that's great. If you click on the instance row and then you go to the bottom here, you should see a public DNS IP. I'm gonna click on copy here and just copy that to your clipboard. Um, keep in mind, if you're using default, this will be in a public subnet, but if this machine that you're trying to SSH into is not in a public subnet, you're not going to be able to SSH in. So make sure that you've set all that up uh, with your VPC. Uh, so we're going to go back now and look at the putty tool. Just bring this in the middle. We're going to leave this default. Just paste in your host name into this uh, box here. So we can see that now that's there. Leave SSH as the protocol. Go down to SSH, expand this little box out and click on auth. And once you've done that in this box here, click on browse for the private key file for authentication. Click on browse, put in that file that you just generated using the putty gen tool. Uh, so you can see here mine, we named it PPK at the end. I'm gonna click on that and click open. And we're pretty much good to go here. Um, so I'm going back to the session at the top and click on open. And the server's host key is not cached, that's fine. We'll just click yes. Uh, so it's asking us if we take a look at this prompt to log in as a user. Um, so if you're, you're doing this in this demo, you need to use ec2-user because that's the default username. Press enter and we should get prompted here. Perfect. So now we're in the machine. Uh, you can see that we have the EC2 user at the IP of the machine. You can do whatever you want now. Look at files. Uh, you can touch a file to create one and you can do whatever you want on this machine. So I hope you found this video useful. Please make sure to check out my other videos. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on next week.